Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And I've got a really great little discovery to share with you about Amazon Fire TV. Its newest update features essentially an app store. Up until now, the only way to really look for apps is this interface you see right here. It's always been kind of cumbersome because it feels like you have to almost zoom in too much into one little niche, like top free. I mean, how exactly do you define top free? What, what, what are you going to find in there, you know? Maybe what people are buying, but trying to find something more specific or even harder, newer apps has always been a problem with the Fire TV. Here's something recommended for you. I guess this is for, you know, my family based on various things we're looking at. But what they've done now is they have a new category called this, new releases and updates. And it's organized in a way that it's much easier to get around. First of all, they have things set up by game controller or the remote. But what they do is you notice up in the right hand corner it says filter. So you press that little filter button, the little three lines, and you can look at it through these filters. While it doesn't have categories, which is what I would really like, like sports or movies or TV apps, things like that, it does help get through the muck a little bit. For instance, if you want to you know, find the cheapest things, new releases, the only new release category they have at the moment is the last 30 days, but we can look for the last 30 days, low to high, and three star reviews and done and now it'll set it up and now it's given us 20 apps instead of like the hundred that were listed before you can you know filter by just free so the new to low to high is of course completely unnecessary so we can say free via release date so three star three star reviews free from the last 30 days and done we got 15 some of them are the same as you see but it does help like I said cut through some things that what one of my favorite things on the Roku has always been to look directly at the new releases every week and now you can do that much much easier with the fire TV but on the other hand, you know, you go to something like baseball or you know, international film, and you see now there's there's still no specific way to look at it. You know, I, I the organizational structure is not exactly to be desired. I mean, Pluto TV is not an international film channel. You know, Korean movies on demand, yeah, maybe so. But in general, I think that Amazon looks like they're going in a good direction. They've supposedly got some hardware updates on the way. We got a 5.0 Lollipop update coming at us at some point. So Amazon looks like they're getting ready to step their game up more than they have so far. Oh look, cooking actually is organized by filters. Same deal though. It's a little more expansive. So four star reviews that are free and done. So enjoy if you are a Fire TV owner or are looking to get one. This is one more feature that's worth taking a look at. Yeah, I think this is going to work out really nicely. Okay. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you thought so, please go ahead and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Share this on Facebook. I am trying to reach as many people as I can and help them understand streaming better. 
and we can all help each other learn what's new. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.